सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टेट एंड प्रूव द फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर्टीज ओके सो यर दीज आर द सेट ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज हियर दे हैव गिवन फोर प्रॉपर्टीज सो वी शुड बी स्टेटिंग देम एंड प्रूविंग स्टेट मीन्स जस्ट द फॉर्मुला इफ राइट इट्स इनफ ओके फर्स्ट दे हैव मेन्शन सर्क्युलर टाइम शिफ्ट प्रॉपर्टी so so the formula of circular time shift property goes like this so this is one shift taking place here n not okay in the videos i have written it as k so dft of x of n minus n not with respect to the length of the sequence is equal to x of k e to the power minus j 2 pi k n not by n this we should be proving now so how to prove it let us see because they have mentioned it to prove right so this is the statement part proof you should be taking the idft first That is x of n is equal to one by n. Uh, write the formula for uh, IDFT. X of n is equal to one by n. Summation tending from k equal to zero to n minus one. X of k e to the power j two pi k n by n, where n values are tending from zero to n minus one. So here in this formula now change do one change. So here we had n minus n not right. So replace n put n is equal to n minus n not. So here now we would be getting x of n minus n not is equal to one by n. The summation k equals zero to n minus one x of k e to the power j two pi k in place of n now it is n minus n not the whole divided by n okay now uh, do this uh, split this term that is one by n summation k equals zero to n minus one x of k e to the power j two pi k n okay I am multiplying now two pi k n by n into e to the power minus j since we have minus sign here so minus j two pi k n not by n So, if you observe this term carefully here, this term itself, this is equal to x of n. Okay, that is one by n summation k equal to zero to n minus one x of k e to the power j two pi k n by n. As I have written it in the start, this is equal to x of n, right? So that's why I have, what I have done is x of n minus n not is equal to this term. I have replaced it by x of n, and this term I have written it as it is. That is x of n e to the power minus j two pi k n not by n. Now take DFT on both sides. Okay, that is DFT of x of n minus n not is equal to DFT of x of n e to the power minus j two pi k n not by n. So now, what is DFT of x of n? DFT of x of n is x of k, right? So therefore, we would be getting DFT of x of n minus n not is equal to x of k e to the power minus j two pi k n not by n. Hence, proved. Okay, so this we needed to prove, right? So we have proved it. So similarly, we we'll, let's go to the next property. Circular frequency shift property. The same way how we have done sir, time shift, we should be doing it in the inverse manner. That is DFT of x of n e to the power j two pi l. In last time we have taken n not, now we are taking l variable e to the power j two pi l n by n. Its DFT is equal to x of k minus l with respect to the length of the sequence l n. Now we should be taking the DFT in the picture. Uh, write the formula for DFT. X of k is equal to Summation n equal to zero to n minus one x of n e to the power minus j two pi k n by n, where value of k tends from zero to n minus one. In this case, now here we had k minus l, so that's why replace k by k minus l. Put k is equal to k minus l, and continue the problem here. That is x of k minus l is equal to uh, summation n equal to zero to n minus one x of n e to the power minus j two pi in place of k substitute it as k minus l into n the whole divided by n. Now summation n equal to zero to n minus one x of n e to the power minus j two pi k n first multiply n by n into e to the power here we have minus also here also we have minus so minus e to minus is plus so we would be getting e to the power plus j. 2 pi l n by n. Again, if you observe this part, so this is equal to x of k, right? As I have written in that beginning. So replace it and write it as x of k into e to the power j 2 pi l n by n. So again, what is x of k? DFT of x of n is x of k, right? So that's why x of k minus l is equal to DFT of x of n e to the power j 2 pi l n by n. Uh, if you do this part, you would be getting this. Okay, so that's why hence proved. So this is x of k minus l is equal to DFT of x of n e to the power j two pi l n by n. So we have proved like this. So this was one part. Now let us see the next uh, sub question that is Parseval's theorem. Okay, very important one where the, they would be giving you two sequences here. So this theorem says that 
if dft of x1 of n that is the first sequence is x1 of k and dft of x2 of n is equal to x2 of k then summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of n dot x2 star of n okay this is the complex conjugate uh, sequence okay so this star represents the complex conjugate of this sequence that is equal to 1 by n into summation of k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of k into x2 star of k proof part how to prove it first write the sequence x2 of n okay x2 of n is equal to 1 by n uh, summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 of k e to the power j 2 pi k n by n as you know now write the complex conjugate uh, term x2 star of n okay so here uh, the complex conjugate means that uh, what change is there uh, x2 x2 of k would be replaced by x2 star of k and here since it is complex conjugate so we should be uh, adding one minus sign here okay that's one change here in the complex conjugate term so x2 star of n is equal to 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 of k would be replaced by x2 star of k and here one minus sign comes here e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by n so this is x2 of n x2 star of n now what i'm doing is I am considering this uh, left hand side part that is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of n x2 star of n in this I am substituting the value of x2 star of n as this whatever I have written okay so that is summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of n remains as it is x2 star of n from here we have written it as 1 by n summation of k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 star of k e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by n okay so here uh, rearrange some of the terms that is 1 by n you bring it first and write summation n equal to 0 sorry k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 star of k separately and group this term that is x uh, summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by n okay if you observe this term itself here you can say that that is equal to x1 of k that is the dft right dft formula so that you do one change so what we will be getting here 1 by n summation of k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 star of k into x1 of k that only is the proof part right that is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of n x2 star of n where i have written the value of x2 star of n after replacing it the its complex conjugate property that is equal to 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of k x2 star of k that's all the proof part okay so yeah like this you should be proving this so let's get to the next property now next property that i mentioned it is complex conjugate property okay so this is the next property complex conjugate property so this property says that if dft of x of n is equal to x of k then dft of the complex conjugate that is x star of n is equal to x star of n minus k is equal to x star of minus k okay in this we should be proving so we should start the proof from the DFT part that is write the formula for DFT uh, uh, then uh, write its complex conjugate x star of k where uh, we would be we should be changing the value of uh, x of k to x star of k and x of n to x star of n and e to the power minus j its complex conjugate is plus j okay do that change and write the rewrite the equation now changing k to minus k see here uh, so here we should be proving this part right so that's why change the value of k to minus k that is x star of minus k we would be getting it as summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of n till that we would be remaining as it is again since this is this has changed from k to minus k again uh, we should be taking the complex conjugate and writing it as minus j 2 pi k n by n okay now x star of minus k is equal to if you take its dft we would be getting dft of x star of n as this only okay so this is first equation that which you have proved that is dft of x star of n is equal to x star of minus k this is first part we should be proving now what we should be proving dft of x star of n is equal to x star of n minus k that part is pending so write this as equation 1 now how we have changed k to n minus k similarly change k to uh, k to minus k now change k to n minus k so changing k to n minus k gives equation star from star change x star of k as x star of n minus k uh, write this as it is so here e to the power plus j uh, 2 pi n minus k into n the whole divided by n so here multiply n here so 2 pi n 
uh, into n uh, divided by n minus is, uh, here we have minus so plus into minus is minus e power minus j 2 pi k n by n. So here n n gets cancelled we would be left with e to the power j 2 pi n which is equal to 1 which I have proved it many many times how it is equal to 1 okay. If you put any values of n uh, since it is mul getting multiplied by 2 that is uh, the produced answer would be even number for all the even numbers of uh, exponential part the answer would be equal to 1 okay. So that this part would be vanishes we would be left with x star of n minus k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x star of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n by n again its dft is dft of x of n if you do it we would be getting this part right so x star of n minus k is equal to dft of x of n write it as equation 2 now we have proved both the parts so equate them and write our final answer like this okay dft of x of n is equal to x star of minus k is equal to x star of n minus k okay hence proof so this is the complex conjugate property